I'm going to open this $700 mystery silver package. Coin shop dealer says people are getting rid of silver. That's right. In the next three minutes, I'll show you why this coin shop dealer says people are getting rid of their silver. Let's do this fast. Let's get this done quick. Let's do this in three minutes. And away we go. Hey, All right. Nice to meet you. My name's, well, Pound of Gold. I go by Pound of Gold. Pound of Gold, Mike. Nice to meet you, Pound of Gold. This, and your business is called? Pacific Precious Metals. Now, this is, first it's, uh, well, this is going to be a unique interview in that we're not showing our faces, either you and I. I also don't want to show my face. Totally cool that we're showing yep. hands and we're going to show <laughs> silver and gold anyway. That's what anybody wants to see. Many of my viewers uh, on our channel here, we, they, uh, they're interested in stacking silver. Yep. So not so much as an investment, but a store of wealth. Yep. Definitely safe store yep. wealth. Do you get many uh, clients with that, with that view? Absolutely. That they're stacking? Yes. Ha have, you, uh, have you seen an increase in people interested in, in just that, like not investing, just stacking silver, I, I maybe rounds? I would say since I've been here, yes. But I would say in the last couple months, we have seen a lot more people selling silver. Yes, you heard that correctly. He said that over the past months, most of his customers are dumping their silver, dumping it. Check out his explanation. It is twofold and it is very important. It's really interesting you say that because there has been an argument recently. I don't know if you've heard this. But uh, I'm also part of this argument, I should say, <laughs> that silver is just so dense and it's relatively cheap, right, compared yep. to other precious metals. And so when you're stacking and you're accumulating this large amount, it's taking up space. The price is quite stagnant, right? Yep. We have the long-term performance lag. It just stays. So uh, do you see any of that? Like maybe people just feeling like, oh, I'm just, you know, yeah, all the I'd time. rather move on. A lot of the times we see, well, one example is people that, have been stacking silver and then all of a sudden are moving whether they're moving oh. from one home to another or across the country uh, they will come in and they will actually trade their silver in for gold because you can obviously get you know turn <laughs> consolidate your weight yeah. by doing that right yeah uh, with the ratio what's the ratio right now 22 1851 divided by 22.25 83 to 1 right so at that point you can consolidate your silver into gold and put it in your pocket or in a in a small box rather than lug lugging hundreds of pounds across the country, right? Absolutely. Um, so we see that quite often. And I would say in the last few years, you actually had a lot of people get into silver um, right around the GameStop uh, uh -huh. situation, right? So all of a sudden, people after GameStop went through the roof the next thing was uh the short squeeze on silver so and so gamestop was when people started really feeling like this is what i remember they started feeling like uh the everyday person could start investing yes. on the computer yep. without a broker or anything they could start investing yeah they pushed gamestop up yeah it crashed if i yes. remember um and then you're saying the squeeze on silver well everybody is what happened was all these people went into a struggling company because it went on reddit that okay if everybody puts their money into this company it mm -hmm. will push that price up so there was a lot of people that got in it when it was very low and all of this massive like interest drove the price up mm -hmm. and then there were a select few of people and i, I they just did a movie on Netflix, or there's a movie really? that just came out, Dumb Money, that oh. basically talks about this whole scenario. They don't talk about what happened next. The next thing that kind of went viral on Reddit was a short squeeze on silver. So literally, over the course of two days, this price of silver then shot up to about $35 an ounce, I want to say. Um, and we saw a massive influx. This was like March of 2021, huh. late February 2021. All of a sudden, silver went through the roof. Then it came down, but then premiums went up. And all of a sudden, you had these retail investors coming in thinking that they were going to buy silver and get rich real quick, right? They thought the same thing. They thought there was like a, a, a movement yes. to, to really um, keep this going. Exactly. That never panned out. Silver mm -hmm. kind of came back from then, but there was a lot of people that came in and were buying silver. <laughs> they were paying very high premiums to yeah. get their silver, 
And now we've seen in the last couple months, a lot of people, those people coming to sell that silver, actually taking a loss, but they just don't want to hold on to it. Anymore. Let's open this mystery silver package. All that I know is that I gave Mrs. Pound of Gold $700 and told her to surprise me with some silver. Let's see what she picked up for me. I like the package. It makes me feel like it's my birthday, even though it's not. We'll see what she got. Feels heavy and dense. That's, that's exactly what I want to feel. There it is. Wow. Junk, junk silver quarters and a whole lot of them. <laughs> that's $700 worth of junk silver quarters. Good choice, Mrs. Pound of Gold. That is why I love you. That is perfect. Hit subscribe. I post three videos per week. Hit subscribe. I don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next one.